Hello everyone, Michael Green and Russian accent. Thanks for being with us. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a couple sensitive things we are about to discuss today during our conversation. Let's start step by step. As per media, German Chancellor Angela Merkel has slammed her predecessor Gerhard Schroeder for taking a job with Russian oil giant Rosneft, which is currently a target of US and European Union sanctions. I don't think what Schroeder is doing is okay, she said Monday during an interview with the Bild newspaper that was broadcast live online. The conservative Merkel joins a growing course of criticism of Schroeder, who was a head of the Social Democratic Party, SPD. We must say with this statement that she's pushing down the SPD. Merkel and her Christian Democratic Union, CDU, currently have a comfortable 15-point lead over the SPD with elections scheduled for September 24. The combative Schroeder, 73, is no newcomer to Kremlin-based controversy. He has never hidden his friendship with Russian President Vladimir Putin and was heavily criticized for giving Putin a hug at the Russian leader's birthday party in St. Petersburg in 2014, just weeks after the Kremlin annexed the Crimean Peninsula. Also, media said that former German Chancellor Gerhard Schroeder was nominated to Russia's Rosneft Board of Directors. A friend of the Russian president, former German Chancellor Schroeder, has been working for the Russian energy industry since he lost to Chancellor Merkel in 2005. Rosneft has been hit by Western sanctions. Russia denied all responsibility and doesn't agree with the sanctions. The decision to implement sanctions does not comply with the WTO rules. If you think someone is breaking the rules, you cannot break the rules in response, otherwise you are just as bad guy as he is. And here are a couple things I have to say. First, many other leaders of countries and big international organizations like NATO still work with the different politicians after resigning. Let me say that Anders Fogh Rasmussen former head of NATO, now works as a political counselor, is this also bad? Or is this a problem only because Schroeder is a friend of Putin and works for Russia? Is he hugging murderer Putin? How about Anders Fogh Rasmussen working for bloody Poroshenko and shaking his hand? Poroshenko killed his own people in eastern Ukraine and Rasmussen was killed people in Syria. How about that? Merkel was shaking hands, hugging and kissing Nicolas Sarkozy, who destroyed Libya and received oil at 90% discount. Another thing is probably nobody will hire Merkel to the same position that Schroeder has been successfully maintaining for many years. Willing but unable. Doesn't work so well. Also keep in mind that the act of terror we have been seeing throughout Europe are the result of Merkel's policies too. A man who drove a van into crowds of pedestrians on Barcelona's central Las Ramblas promenade last week killing 13 people and injuring more than 100. And earlier others bombed different places in Europe and lately even stabbed people in Finland because we were bombing their countries. And Merkel is talking about the inambiguity of business with Russia. You know, 
she's so holier than do about being politician. And by the way, keep an eye open on the Russian-American diplomatic scandal. It is going to be a very interesting issue. Thanks for being with us, Michael Green and Russian accent. See you soon.